Hello, welcome back to Aviation Avi. I'm Anvesha Pal and today we'll be interpreting the lights that are placed on an aircraft. Every time you see an aircraft fly through the sky at night, you observe lights of different colors flickering in the sky. So it is obvious that these flickering lights are the lights that are fitted on the exterior of the aircraft and have a significance of their own. There are three basic purposes for which these lights are engineered, which are number one, to make the aircraft more visible to other aircraft in the sky or on ground, to improve the pilot's visibility during critical phases of the flight, to improve illumination of certain part of the aircraft. So with this video, we will understand what each light on an aircraft means and where it is placed. So let's get started. We will start with the lights that enhance aircraft's visibility. Basically, these are the lights to enhance safety of aircraft in terms of visibility when in ground and when in air. To reduce the potential of collision by making the aircraft more visible to other aircraft and other traffic on ground. Basically, there are three lights that are there on an aircraft for this purpose which are Number one, the position light or the navigation lights. Number two, the anti-collision beacon. And number three, the strobe lights. We'll learn about them one by one in the subsequent slides. Number one, position light or the navigation lights. The navigation light consists of a red color on the left or the port wing tip, as you can see here. And green light on the starboard or the right wing tip and white light on the tail of the aircraft. As you can see in the image, the red light on the left wing tip has an angle of coverage of 110 degrees above and below the horizontal plane. The green light on the starboard wing tip, that is the right wing tip, has an angle of coverage of 110 degrees above and below the horizontal plane. And the white light on the tail of the aircraft has an angle of coverage of 140 degrees above and below the horizontal plane. These lights help in identifying the position of the aircraft. We will see how. Now let us interpret the position of an aircraft using the position lights. The image below shows how an aircraft looks when viewed by a pilot of an aircraft mid-air which helps the pilot to effectively identify the position of the aircraft. If the pilot of the aircraft sees two white lights on two wingtips, that means the aircraft is moving away and is facing away from the pilot. If the pilot of an aircraft sees there is green light on the left wingtip and red light on the right wingtip, that means the aircraft is coming towards the pilot. If the pilot of an aircraft sees only green light, that means the aircraft is moving towards the right. If the pilot of an aircraft sees only red light, that means the aircraft is moving towards the left. Next in the series is the anti-collision beacon. The aircraft anti-collision beacon is red in color and either flashes or rotates to provide a pulsating warning light as red signifies warning. They are normally installed in pair with one on top of the fuselage and one at the bottom of the fuselage. The beacon is normally turned on prior to engine start and is turned off after the engine has been shut down. The purpose of this beacon is to alert the ground staff that the aircraft engine is on and safe distance is to be maintained from the aircraft. Next in the series are strobe lights. Strobe lights are usually positioned near the trailing edge of the wingtip and may also be installed on the tail of the aircraft. Strobe lights are basically high intensity white lights which are very bright and they are white in color and they flash at regular interval. You can see the strobe lights in the image here. They are normally turned on when entering an active runway for takeoff and is turned off when leaving the runway after landing. So as explained in the previous slide, when the pilot of an aircraft sees lights on an aeroplane as in the image here, that is two white lights on two wingtip, 
This signifies that the aircraft is moving away because the pilot of the aircraft is able to see the strobe lights of the aircraft in front of them. Now that we have understood the lights that enhance the visibility of aircraft when on ground or in air, it is time that we understand lights that enhance the visibility of pilot. Landing on an aerodrome during conditions in which visibility of the pilot is compromised due to various weather conditions is not very uncommon. Thus, there are lights fitted on the aircraft to help the flight crew navigate safely on an aerodrome. There are four lights that help in improving or enhancing the visibility for the pilot. Number one, the taxi lights. Number two, the runway turn off lights. Number three, the landing lights. Number four, the wing inspection lights. The first light under this series is the taxi light. These are medium intensity lights that are usually installed on the nose gear stud. As you can see in the red circle here or on each wing root as you can see in the image here. These are used the same way as car headlights and they light up the path in front of you. That is the light of the taxiway for the pilot at night. Second is the runway turn off light. They may also be two special taxi lights called the runway turn off light. That point slightly left or slightly right of the aircraft nose to enhance visibility while making turns and illuminate obstacles on the left or right of the aircraft. They illuminate high speed runway exits like the rapid exit taxiways as the aircraft decelerates during landing rollout. Third is the landing lights. Landing lights are aimed to make the runway visible during takeoff and landing. These lights may be mounted on the wings, landing gear stud or fuselage. As you can see in the image here, the light is mounted on the nose gear stud or on the wings, as you can see here. In some installations, they are mounted on the leading edge of the wing, while in others, they may be extended or retracted from a cavity in the wing or fuselage, as you can see in the image here. There is a cavity and the light is extended or detracted from this cavity. When landing, they start lighting up the ground above 200 feet or so above the runway. Where the aircraft operating manual allows, landing lights are normally turned off as the aircraft climbs through 10,000 feet and turned on again as it descends through 10,000 feet on approach. These lights are very, very bright, so they serve as a great anti-collision light. When climbing or descending near airports, they are turned on so that pilots nearby can see the aircraft as they can be seen for miles ahead even at daytime. When near cruising altitude, they may be shut off. Depending on regional norm, landing lights are either switched on when entering an active runway or upon receipt of takeoff clearance. Landing and taxiing lights are extremely bright and thus pilots have to be careful while operating them on ground at night because turning on these lights when ground personnel are nearby can cause retinal damage also. Number 4 is the wing inspection light. The name itself clearly signifies its purpose. These lights are mounted on side of the aircraft fuselage just forward of the wing root as you can see in the image here. These lights are directed rearward towards the back so that leading edge of the wing or the top of the wing is illuminated. The primary function is to help the crew and maintenance personnel inspect the wing for ice, snow or damage. The lights are also effective for collision avoidance. The last but not the least in the series are the special purpose lights that are the logo lights. Logo lights are generally mounted on the upper surface of the horizontal stabilizer. This surface here on the aircraft is the horizontal stabilizer and the logo lights are mounted on this surface. The purpose of logo lights is to illuminate the company markings on the tail of the aircraft. This is the reason you are able to identify the airline while it is on ground at night. Now that we have understood the lights on an aircraft, we need to understand how these lights are controlled. 
the lighting controls are located on the overhead panel which is within the easy reach of either pilot. The arrangement of these controls may vary from aircraft to aircraft but let us just see a typical example. The taxi and the two runway turn off lights are on the left as you can see here. These are the taxi and the runway turn off light control. The three big toggle switches in the bottom which are these are for controlling the landing lights which may be mounted on the wing or on the nose gear. Now the four black push switches that control the position, anti-collision and the wing lights as you can see here they are marked. This this positioning of the controls widely varies from aircraft to aircraft. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this for you. To visit our website aviationavi.com, do not forget to like, share and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what video you'd like to watch next. You can connect with us on LinkedIn, the link of which is given in the description. Aviation Avi, go where you feel the most alive. This is Anvesha Pal signing off. Thank you.